Welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of Zara's story. This episode, we are actually in Tartosa. So Zara and her friends are kind of on a work slash vacation trip because this is where they're going to be doing the filming for the campaign for Sandra Sinclair's new brand coming out. And the theme is a European affair or a European summer. And that is why they decided to travel all the way to Tartosa. As you would have seen, they were on Caleb's private jet in the cinematic intro. And now they're actually in Caleb Sinclair's house as well. This is his family's home for whenever they decide to vacation in Tartosa. Zara and Heather are very excited for this trip and she's just excited to see what comes out of this campaign. This is an overview of what the house looks like and it is made by Mr. Olkan. If you haven't heard of him, he does amazing builds. I will link his YouTube video for this build below as well. So for this episode, we have a few people in the same household. So Zara is going to be staying in this house with Caleb, Heather, Sandra Sinclair, and a male model, Nick Kouris, because he's going to be part of the campaign. And we also have Caleb's private chef and live-in maid here, and this is Maria. So she takes care of the Tartosa home whenever the Sinclairs aren't in the country. And this is Nick Kouris. He's a Greek male model, and if I butchered his last name, I'm so sorry. But he's really good friends with Caleb, and they're going to be sharing a room here. Sandra Sinclair is also staying with them. She has her own room, and Zara and Heather will be sharing a room. So Ari, Sandra's twin, will also be helping out with the campaign, but she's actually staying in a separate house with the other female models because they go way back from the modeling world and they're all really good friends so they're staying in a house together but we will meet them in this episode wow these two are talking a lot okay oh heather's tired so i'm just gonna get heather to take a nap because she is tired from the jet lag let's check on zara's needs um they're pretty low as well. Also, she wants to become friends with Ari and chat with Amari. Maybe we'll talk to Amari then. Let's give him like a phone call or something. Let's chat to him on the phone. I'll get her to do that and she can tell him about how Tartosa is like and everything like that. I know in the Halloween episode, I was kind of getting them to flirt and stuff, but... I don't you. see Amari and Zara the ending up pursuing swavy. anything, so we'll see what goes on between her and Caleb. <laughs> oh, and here's Sandra, guys. Let's get Caleb to talk to her. Um, she was here before they arrived in Tertosa. She came here first, so that's why she wasn't on the plane ride with them. And also, I was looking at Caleb's whims, and he has this whim to start a new relationship, which I definitely wasn't expecting from him i just he always gives me player vibes so we'll see what happens with that wow everyone's just asleep zara's just napping on the couch oh heather's clearly awake as you can see i think i'm gonna have caleb brew a pot of coffee since everyone needs it apparently oh my god this is so cute she's just grabbing her pie while caleb drinks coffee and they're just sitting with each other. Small talk. Let's brighten her day. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. Oh, they're talking. Nice. 
levitate, baby. We'll have Sandra, like, Good run her through the plan or the itinerary for this week. So they're pretty much going to be here till like, the end of the week. Let's give her a heartfelt compliment and just say thank you so much for coming here and joining in on this campaign and helping me with my brand. Let's compliment appearance because she has a really cute fit on. Okay, so I think for now I'm going to have them go swimming. I was going to explore the town, but it's already 4 p.m. So I think they're just going to take it easy and just kind of enjoy the house that they're staying in because it is really nice. Tomorrow we're probably going to go to the beach and explore Tartosa. And then we'll either have the other models over tomorrow or the day after. Let's talk to Nick. Let's splash him, actually. Oh, he's floating above the floaty. I hate that. Wait, why are you getting a coffee? Okay, so apparently Zara's decided to leave. So let's have Heather splash Nick. Sweat off. <laughs> uh -oh. Let's have them talk to each other. Wait, let's just splash him again. And then talk about the water temperature. Oh, wow, it's getting dark so fast here. Tonkini, Russia. Let's have him talk to her. Hobbies and choose about fitness. Wachuni, Sepsito. Heather looks so cute in her outfit. Oh, flirt. Okay, we'll flirt. Mushka, Nipin. Ah. Okay, she seems to like it. Enthuse about interest. <laughs> and we'll splash her as well. Oh, I'm already getting Heather to flirt with someone straight off the bat. That's okay. I mean, the options keep coming up. Let's see. <laughs> okay, they're getting out of the pool now. I mean, it is already pretty dark. It is a CC pool, so there's a little bit of glitching around the edges. Why are they so bright? Oh! I didn't tell him to do that. What are they doing? Oh, no, I did talk about fantasy. Easy. Chavina! Also, their fits are from the new poolside splash kit. I really like it. Like this outfit. This outfit is so cute. Free but and the swatches that they came with is really pretty as well. Let's offer a raise. Puma Kimba. Chima Moosh. She snatched that rose up. Why's your coffee on the floor? Let's have Caleb talk to- Can you pick up your coffee? Wait, are you guys flirting autonomously? They are. Guys, look how good Zara looks. Look how good Zara looks. These two are talking. Wait, he's still flirting with her. What's he doing now? He just keeps flirting with her. I'm not even doing anything. Compliment her appearance. Harvaboshi. With the food. She's walking yeah. away. Where's she going? Proud. Oh, she's going to the toilet. Let's have the boys catch up here on the couch. Oh my god. Look at Maria going off in the background. Yibzy. Badish. Let's ask how he's been. Why pick up line? Let's share some photos. Oh yeah, they have to stand up to share photos. Show him your latest Instagram photos. 
Flirt? Why are all these romantic interactions coming up? He's in a row. Mm -hmm. Obisha. Mm -hmm. Free bono. Grapevine gossip. Forney for toes of bab. Gossip fresh off the grapevine. We see so many proposals here. It's the romantic aura of the land. Also, it's great for dates. Off the top of my head, you could take a dip at the base of Hideaway Falls, watch the glowing waves at night, take a walk on the beach, or visit Porto Luminoso's village fountain. The Lover's Tree is also a popular destination, of course. It's giving me so many ideas for Caleb and Zara, possibly. Can this girl dress up? Okay, well, it's 10 p.m., so I'm gonna have Maria cook dinner for them, like a late dinner. She's already in the kitchen, actually. I should have started getting her to make dinner earlier. They're gonna eat so late. And we'll also make some spaghetti. We'll do a family size so that they have options. Whoa! Why does that asparagus look so real? I've never seen it look like that. I wonder if that's like a mod? Well, that's really how the Max's asparagus looks. <gasps> Wait! What? Why does Sandra want to hook up with Zara? No! Oh my god, I'm not even gonna read that out. No, wait! Zara wants to hook up with Sandra! Why is she so flirty? Why is she so flirty? When I was filming the plane scene as well, she kept flirting with the bartender. I'm gonna get Sandra to say, did you really think it's appropriate to say that? She's your boss. Okay, they're clearly going to be eating very late. Wow, I love this dining table setup as well. A tip I have for getting good CC for decorating is just getting some builds from other CC creators or CC build creators or however you want to say it. But just download some CC builds from creators like Mr. Alcon or any other ones that you really like. And especially if you like their style, that will kind of introduce you to some really good CC as well. I'm gonna call to grab drink. Oh my god, Nick's flirty. Wait, why does he also want to start a relationship? And he wants to do something romantic. He has a serial romantic trait. Okay, so the food is now done. Oh, look at everyone having dinner! That's so beautiful! The Shire. And we'll have Heather that. grab her meal as well. She'll have some spaghetti. Let's have Sandra talk to Heather since she is also the manager for Zara. Uh huh. Just get to know her a little bit more. Oh, George. Ah. Oh, we'll get her to grab you. another drink. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with him? Commanding complexity. <laughs> Feeling fulfilled. Oh, he's drunk. Let's get Zara to eat this lasagna al pesto. Talk about flavor preferences. She's really tired, though. I love this. I love seeing these Sims just hang out and get to know each other. We do have like quite a few new characters, but oh, I'm so attached to them already. She likes the wine. Let's see what she said. Oh, she hasn't commented on the wine, but apparently the food is good. Guys, I didn't even pick this outfit. I think Max has just randomly like generated this outfit and it's actually cute. Reveal deep secrets. I feel like my game- <gasps> First kiss! 
No, they're not gonna have their first kiss. No. No way. They gotta at least go on a date. I did give Caleb a little bit of like a CC makeover as well. I don't know how different he looks. I hope he doesn't look too different, but yeah. Oh, uh, Nick's just watching the news and unwinding now. He's ready to go to sleep. That's nice. Okay, let's get Heather to go to bed. Actually, she'll probably have a shower and then she'll go to bed. Yeah, let's take a steamy shower. And Sandra's needs are looking good. So she can just go to her room ready. And Zara is just dancing with Caleb still. Wow, their friendship is so high up there. Let's ask about woohoo interests. Oh, I think their romance fell a little bit. What are her moonlights? Perfect post from a social buying post. I didn't even post anything. She's learned Caleb's woohoo interests. Okay. Commanding complexity. Feeling a close connection. She's feeling really tired. I don't know how she hasn't painted. I don't know how she hasn't painted yet, honestly. Wait. Okay, so he likes men and women, which I already knew that. Perceived as very attractive. Oh wait, guys, they're... she perceives him as very attractive and they have an amazing compatibility. Okay, things are looking really good for them. Okay, so it is the next day already. As you can see, they slept at like 4 a.m. But I had to just show you guys the lighting in this game. It looks so good. This is with the sun blind or sun bind lighting mod. And it is so worth it. You guys definitely have to download it if you want to completely change up your game. But I just had to show this off. It looks so good. Guys, look how pretty Tartosa is. I can't. I feel like it's so pretty that Zara has to like go on a jog or something. She definitely has to. Wait, Nick is feeling flirty. Got game like an alcohol-induced Casanova. Okay. Prepping for romance from anticipating romantic holiday. Oh, tomorrow's the day to be romantic. Does Nick have that special someone to spend a day with? Oh, uh, I've never seen that moodlet. Wait, let me look at the calendar. Oh, it's love day tomorrow. Oh my god. That's gonna make for some good content. Okay, I think Nick's gonna go for a jog, actually. And let's ask Heather if she wants to follow him. Ask to follow for a jog. Yeah, we'll get them to go on a jog. I was gonna get Zara to do it, but... Oh, they're off to go jogging. Oh my god, guys, they're jogging. Wait. This is so cute. Oh my god, I love the lighting. I can't. I'm obsessed with my game now that I've put in this lighting mod. I can't get over it. Oh my god, they're so cute. Look, I don't know that they're going to end up together or anything like that, but Heather hasn't gotten any action, so this will be nice for her. <gasps> Wait, they have love day decorations on the houses. That is so cute. They're like preparing early. It's not even love day yet. How beautiful. Okay, what's Zara doing? Oh my god, she's passed out on the floor. <gasps> she's passed out on the floor in her underwear. Oh my god, it's glitching on her butt crack. <gasps> Babe, look, it's glitching on her butt crack. <laughs> oh, the butt <laughs> <I saw> <laughs> Cue the punchline. Caleb and Sandra just can't stop cracking each other up. It's always a hoot when these two are in the same room. Family members with a jokester's family dynamic will choose to perform funny or mischief interactions with each other more often and they'll feel extra playful when spending time together. Yeah, that's cute. I can definitely imagine that being their family dynamic. Well, anyway, right now Zara is just still asleep because she slept like the latest out of all of them. Oh my god, Nick is just so flirty. Oh, they're... oh, he's nasty. Okay, he needs to, like, he's living a stink trail. Okay, he needs to go take a shower. Go home. Go home, Nick. We'll have those two go home. Oh, Caleb's feeling flirty. Wow, all my sims are just feeling flirty. Okay, as you guys can see, Caleb is already dressed and ready for the day. 
Oh, love day tomorrow. Yes, we know that. Also, Zara got 200 and something simoleons from her royalties. I'm going to wake Zara up to get ready as well so that they can eat breakfast out. Huh. Huh. Look at her in her green outfit, in her green room. If you guys don't realize, green is Zara's favorite color. Okay, and Heather, where is she? Oh, it looks like she just took a shower. And Nick has taken a shower as well. And he's going to the toilet. Wow, he's so flirty still. Oh my goodness. Okay, since everyone's stressed, I'm going to have them go down to the beach in Tartosa and explore. Sandra's not going to come with them, unfortunately, because she has a few business meetings that she needs to do online. Okay, we are now at the Tartosa Beach Club, and I found this lot on the gallery. It comes with a bar and a bubble tea counter. Guys, Zara just autonomously sat here, and I can see Heather and Nick just flirting in the background. But as you can see, there is a bar here as well, and it is honestly just such a pretty beach lot. I love how it looks, and I'll put the details on the screen or in the description box of who made this lot. I just found it on the gallery. This is like an overview of what it looks like. The only thing I changed was I replaced some of the sun loungers with chairs. Okay, but look at these two. They're just- oh my god! They're just missing a drink, actually. I love these two. They're just autonomously hanging out with each other. I did quickly give the vendor of the bubble tea counter and the mixologist some makeovers. Look at their coconut drinks! That is so cute. This is like a double date, honestly. I haven't seen Heather and Zara talk to each other. Make funny faces. Interest. Yes. No Let's have them go out here. Yeah, let's have her sunbathe. Or let's just relax. Let's have her relax. Because I always forget my sims are sunbathing and then they end up getting burnt. And let's have him relax as well. Let's have Nick go over here. Wait here. And we'll also have Heather do the same thing. Oh, look at Heather with her floaties! She's scared of the deep end, guys. Guys, look at Caleb sipping on his coconut. Oh, he's already finished it. They look so good. I wish they could talk to each other while they relaxed. Wait, what if they build a sand castle together? Make many sand sculptures. Yeah, let's get them to do that. I feel like that's so- oh, wait, that's Heather. Yeah, let's get them to do that. Oh, she can draw on the sand. Okay, she'll do a sand sculpture with Caleb. This is so wholesome. Why are they both tired? I'm cheating that. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. And Heather and Nick are just swimming in the background. Oh, look at their castle coming together. Oh, let's get them to play ping pong together. Play, play beer pong against Caleb. Let's get them to do that. What are her whims? Ask Caleb to be boyfriend! What? I'm pinning that. I can't believe she wants Caleb to be her boyfriend. I wasn't expecting them to move that fast. Oh my goodness. The story just wants them to get together. Okay, I'm not gonna get them to play beer pong because it is getting dark and I want them to have a walk in the sunset because that would be so cute. Oh my god, guys, this is too much. This is too much. Look at them walking in the sunset. Oh, it's too much. That is so pretty. Guys, they're just going for a walk together. Oh. Look at it. Look at the scenery. Wait, wait. Actually, oh, the vendors are closed. I would have gotten him to buy her flowers. You know what? Let's just talk here. It's getting dark. Let's talk here. Oh, funny story. 
I feel like these two definitely need to go on a date for love day. Ask to have a non-exclusive relationship. No. I think we're going to call it a night because it's really dark, but clearly these two are just so cute. Also, they're kind of frozen, but it kind of worked out well because they're staring at each other's eyes right now. But I think they're definitely going to have to go on a love day date together in this episode. So we will definitely be doing that. Okay, guys, we are back at home and I'm getting them to have a drink together. Let's put the volume of this down. Okay, I'm just going to get them all to have a drink together. Because their diets will have to clean up over the next few days. What are you two doing? Oh, she's getting red wine instead. She was like, I don't want that. Zara and Heather have changed into their pajamas as well. And I'm gonna have Sandra kind of just talk to them about what will be happening the next few days. Squarble Tarbahe Farbina. Hey, Finn. Orbitar. Dibble with Varsa. It's not. Tell a Jim Witsy. Yeah, you shitsy. Yes, you may. I'm the son. Zubatube, love. Oh my god, Caleb is just watching her. These two are just talking. I kind of just want to see what they autonomously do. Confess attraction. Oh my god, she's going to confess attraction to Caleb on the liquid card she has in her hand right now. Right in front of everyone. Wait, why is everyone just flirting? What's Heather doing? Let's talk to Sandra. I feel bad. It's like she's a fifth wheel. Oh my goodness. She's like, I can't wait for the others to get here. I love this. It's just like, they're all really just getting to know each other and it's so cute. This is exactly what I wanted. Since they're all going to be working closely together and Caleb's just here for a fun vacation, of course. Employ for bay. She's just telling them about oh, oh, oh. her meeting and what happened with it. Are we close hey. Oh, think well. Oh, it looks like Nick needs to go to the toilet. He can just do that on his own. I'm not going to tell you to do it. He's getting another drink. Wow. Captain Sarah. Also, how cute is her nighty? She looks so pretty right now. <gasps> Just look at that. What a vision. With her natural face. And her natural hair. Let's ask opinion about exclusivity. I feel like this is the hard question. Because I feel like Caleb flirts with everyone. Oh my god, Nick, just use the toilet if you need to. Oh, she's getting drunk. Okay, let's see what he says. Oh no, he says I tend to prefer non-exclusive. Wait, I don't even... Let's ask Zara what she thinks. Can you not do push-ups right now, girl? Oh my god, guys. Sandra has just fainted. I'm too focused on them. Okay, what did she say? She tends to prefer non-exclusive relationships! <gasps> I didn't know this about them! I am shook right now. I was not expecting this. I don't know. I just thought she was a monogamous queen. Okay, I guess not. Well, then they can explore that. Oh my god. Oh, Guys, are we about to have our first non-exclusive relationship on my SimTube? That's crazy. I am so interested to see how their relationship will progress then. Good for them, though. I mean, at least they're on the same page. I actually wasn't expecting that. I thought there was going to be a bit of drama about them having different, you know preferences that's crazy
Okay, so it is the next day now. It's the Friday. It's around 6, nearly 7 a.m. And I just wanted to show you guys that Caleb got this alert for a new personality trait or romantic. And I'm going to say yes to embracing the change. So right now, the others are just... Oh my god. So right now, they're just waiting for Maria to finish making breakfast. But for a recap of last night, Caleb and Zara had a talk and they have both discovered that they're into non-exclusive relationships. And the way I see that is I feel like they're into swinging because every encounter we've had with Caleb, he's tried to initiate like a threesome with the sims so yeah that's how i feel like it's gonna go but yeah i'm glad they're on the same page at least i wasn't expecting that and also they did hook up last night so yeah i mean that's nothing new for them because on the first night they met on spooky day they did hook up if you guys remember from that episode so yeah i think we're gonna get everyone to eat breakfast now okay so we do still have the mess from last night i'm gonna get her to clean that up if she can Let's see, can we put it away? Yeah, we can put it away. So the plan for today is that we're going to have the other models come over. Let's turn this off. Music, stop playing music. We're going to have the other models come over and everyone's just going to have a little pool day, maybe do a barbecue. We're also going to celebrate love day. As you can see here, we have to be in the romantic spirit, give flowers and go on a date. So we might do that at night time because we will have everyone over for lunch. Okay, let's call everyone to eat. Yeah, call to meal. We'll get Caleb, Heather and pretty much just everyone else to eat. I'll also get Maria to serve some drinks on the table for them. Let's have some juice. Or should we have coffee? Uh, Let's maybe do some... Oh, look at them. They're... Oh my god, that looks so cute. They're having their acai bowls. That's so pretty. It's so colorful. I wanted her to also serve some drinks. I don't know where the juices are. Let's just do coffee. I gave Sandra a sleeping outfit, but she's just in her bikini, I guess. Attractiveness alert. <gasps> she got an attractiveness alert. Guys, Zara got an attractiveness alert for Nick. Oh my goodness. No, Rosie, we're in a different world right now. Oh my god. Wait. Maybe that could be potential to do some swanging. But Nick is like kind of starting something with Heather right now. So I don't really want to mess with that. That might be a bit messy. And now Heather and Sandra are eating. Oh, Nick's come to join them. Drink your coffee. We'll get Nick to drink that as well. We'll probably have everyone over soon, so I'll start getting them all ready and everything like that. Yes, love. Ooh, it is the love day spirit, so maybe let's just do some romantic interactions. We have to get some love day gifts, guys. Hmm. Does he have some options? <laughs> Martini. Okay, he needs to buy, like, flowers or something like that. Oh my god! They're gonna hook up! It's vacation. I feel like I'm gonna let them do that. Okay. She's gonna say... What else are friends for? Oh, okay. Is this like a friends with benefits arrangement? Uh huh. Okay, well, I'll let them go off and do that, I guess. Yes. They'll have a Not little you. quickie before everyone comes over. Yeah, before. <laughs> and I think we're gonna order some food. Okay, so we now have everyone over and we've got all the food set up and everything like that. So I'm going to introduce you to the other two models that you guys haven't met yet. So this is Alyssa Diaz. She's one of the models and one of Ari's best friends. And yeah, she is just drinking some Hennessy right now. And then over here we have Jasmine Abraham and she's just hanging out with Heather right now. Those are pretty much the only other two that you guys haven't met, but this is just the food setup. It's a really casual get together, nothing too fancy, but we're just having them over and just eating some good food and just gonna get to know each other. So let's have Zara sit next to Alyssa. Oh, 
She's thinking about Nick for some reason. Okay, so we're gonna have Zara talk to Alyssa. They've all introduced each other, I believe. So, I don't know, let's do like a joke or something like that. Tell a joke about professors, I don't know. Let's do some small talk for there, actually. Small talk. Um, ask about her day. Oh, I should have just done get to know. Let's do get to know. Oh, I missed it. I keep missing it. There you go. And this is Ari Sinclair, of course, as well. So she was just staying at the other place with the models. Let's have Heather greet Ari. Let's discuss interests. Why is the conversation flirty? And also, I'm gonna have Maria grill some more food. Not that we really need any. But let's do some shrimp and mackerel skewers. Oh my god, there's some tacos, some fish tacos, amazing. Oh, everyone's in here dancing. I don't want to get copyrighted for that. I'm going to turn this one off because we have one outside. And we also have a hookah station over here. So I'm going to get them to try some. Oh, I don't think they like it. They're not a fan. Let's change the strain. Oh, we can't. Tobacco. It's currently just that tobacco. That's okay. It's not good for you anyway. Let's talk to each other. We'll do funny. It's a funny story. Suggestive look. <gasps> Caleb, oh my god. Too much has happening. Nah, Heather's... Oh yeah, Heather can have the active trait. Wait, okay, so... Caleb has noticed that Jasmine's eyes are lingering on them more and more. There's an intensity to their stare. And with their attention fixed squarely upon them, this may be the chance to move things into a more intimate direction. Is Caleb going to accept Jasmine's advances or ignore her? <gasps> I don't know what to do. Hmm... Oh. No, I'll I'll say ignore her for now. I'm just not gonna have Caleb accept her advances because I don't want them to go off and woohoo just the two of them. Wait, we need to talk to these two more actually. Argue about career, hobbies, talk about cooking. Let's have Heather talk to Jasmine. Tell a funny story. Oh wait, was I controlling Ari? Oh, I I was. Oh, also the shrimp mackerel skewers are cooked. Let's get everyone to have some. Guys, look at the lighting. It's so pretty. They're having their shrimp skewers. Okay, let's also look at the Love Day things. We need to just be in the Love Day spirit. Let's flirt. Yeah, let's have him flirt with her so that he doesn't do anything with anyone else. Discuss fear of commitment. Yeah, let's do that. And also we should do some like romantic stuff. Offer Rose. And of course Jasmine's joining in on the conversation as well. Oh my god! Why is Caleb getting a suggestive look from everyone? <gasps> We're gonna press ignore her as well. Oh my god. This is really a test. Do you really want Zara? Or is this just like a little fling, a phase you have? I was not expecting him to get that much attention. I'm gonna have Nick come over here because I feel like I haven't really seen him. Where's Heather? Oh, he's over here. He's chilling with Maria. It's already 9 p.m. I literally wanted them to have their own love day day. I full set it up. 
But it's already so late. I hate that. Oh, he's offering her the rose. Oh, yeah, that counts as giving flowers. He offered her a rose. So I'm going to get Caleb to ask Zara on a date now. Yeah, he's going to ask her on a date because he does have something planned for her. And this was just a brief introduction to Alyssa and Jasmine as well. But yeah, since we've already met them, I'll get these two to go off and do their own thing. We do have more planned with them for the next few days anyway. Or for the next episode. Okay, so we are here at the beach. And Caleb has set up a little private dinner and drinks for just the two of them. Just so he could get some alone time with her. Oh my god, he needs to get off his phone. This is going to be a bad day. Let's get her to drink some of this and let's talk to him okay she's just gonna thank him for setting this up and this is just a little setup it's on the beach and they're gonna spend the night here because we do have a bed set up for them and just a little private area and it's just a little date under the stars oh let's compliment her appearance as well And also they did have a successful love day. I don't know if I want them to ask to be each other's girlfriends and boyfriends. She did actually try to ask him to have a non-exclusive relationship. Um, I said no because I wanted to do everything on camera. But let's see, does she still have that whim? Okay, she does want to ask Caleb to be her boyfriend, so... I think that's what we're gonna do and we'll do it from her end since she's the one who wants to take off that whim she's just gonna be like i wasn't really sure about you and your intentions but you set this whole thing up and you've been really good to me the last few days so yeah let's just get into a relationship and now they are officially girlfriend and boyfriend okay i didn't think i was gonna progress that fast but with this setup i feel like this is the perfect time to do that and i think for now they're just gonna try and keep things on the down low with the whole campaign and everything and just so that they don't get too much public attention right now just to keep her out of the spotlight for a little bit Okay, what are his moodlets? He's happy from a new partner. Okay, so he's actually happy about it. Let's discuss fear of commitment. What does he want to do? He wants to kiss someone and start a new relationship. Well, doesn't doesn't that count? Commit to another sim. How do I get him to actually like commit to her? Let's get them to have their first kiss. They definitely need to have their first kiss. We haven't actually done that. They've like woohooed and had like wicked whim woohoo as well but they haven't even had a first kiss so let's do that express fondness and first kiss oh they had their first kiss guys finally okay what do you guys think about them let me know in the comments do you think they're gonna last or do you think this is gonna be temporary i definitely thought they were going a lot better and then he started getting all those attractiveness alerts from other women so i don't know i just feel like their relationship's definitely gonna have a few challenges intense kiss Talk over relationship fears. Let's get her to do that as well. Oh, okay. I kind of want them to go skinny dipping together. Skinny dip with Caleb. Guys, look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. They're going skinny dipping, guys. Look at them, they're kind of cute. I feel like the time in this game is going by even faster than usual, I swear. Like, how is it already morning? Oh, look at them! Oh, she looks so happy! They're doing the woohoo, they're doing the deed. No music for them. Oh my gosh, it's broad daylight. This was supposed to be happening all at nighttime in sunrise. Oh, there was music. 
<gasps> there was fireworks. Oh, that's a really small amount of fireworks, though. So it's the next day and no one has bothered them on the beach yet. So I'm gonna get them to just go for a walk. <gasps> oh my god. Did you guys just see that? Um. So what I had in mind was these two are gonna go for a little walk before they go home. So I think we're gonna do that. And... Whatever we just saw, I'll put that to the back of my mind until we get home. Okay, so they're just in the town square right now. Zara's just seated over here, and I'm gonna get Caleb to buy her some flowers. A rose. Can we buy her, like, a wedding bouquet? And just pretend it's like a regular bouquet. A blush rose bouquet. Okay, so Caleb's bought her a bouquet of flowers, but they're gonna have some cake first, and then he'll probably give her- give it to her as a gift. So, they're just seated over here. Let's have them order some food. What'll he get? I think he's going to get... What does he want? World famous Tartosian fruit tart. I feel like they have to try that since they're here in Tartosa. Let's get them to get that and they'll probably get something after it as well. This is so cute. I wish they added more to Tartosa, because I love these little things, like this built-in cake vendor. But I just wish they had a lot more. Oh, they're gonna try their tarts together. I wonder if they like it. Make out. Grapevine gossip. Tease flirtatiously. Okay. Glad I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, they're being so cute. Okay, but how do I get him to start a new relationship when he's already in a relationship with her? Commit to another sim. Like, how do I get him to do that? Look deeply into eyes. Oh, yeah, let's give her our gift. Let's see if she likes it. Oh. Okay, she liked it. That's good. Oh, she gave him a rose autonomously. That's nice. Shives. Look at them go. Oh, it says, Zara gave Caleb a thoughtful gift along with an expression of love. I will always be here for you each and every day. My love for you will continue to grow forever. Aww. Okay, they're they're going off to a good start. Oh, Annika texted him. I heard you and Zara started dating. Congratulations on landing a new girlfriend. Oh my god, that's so relevant because in the last Sam I Shino episode, Ani and Henry were trying to talk Caleb into like pursuing Zara. Okay, let's get another cake before we go. Let's get... I'm gonna get her to have the rosy tiered cake. Heart cake or something like that. And he is going to have the berry macarons. I love this little cake store. It just looks so cute. Oh my god, they're so pretty. Guys, look at their food! That's so cute! Oh my god! Stop! Okay, on that note, I think we're gonna go home now. Okay guys, we are now back home. And if you guys didn't get what was happening before, they had Woohoo and... We do have like risky woohoo on, so even regular woohoo can lead to having a baby in this game with the settings that I have on because I just thought it would be more realistic. But I was not expecting this to happen and obviously she started showing signs that she might be pregnant so we're gonna have her take a test and we'll see where we go from there. I really just wanted them to end their date with woohoo, I wasn't trying to do anything.
Yeah. So she's pregnant. Oh my god. Oh, is she happy about it? Okay. So I definitely wasn't intending for Zara to get pregnant. I really just wanted them to woohoo and have their date and, you know, get steamy with Caleb. So for now, you can't really tell she's pregnant because obviously they just literally conceived. And I do have MC Command Center, so I was able to set her pregnancy phase as pregnant and not showing yet because that's more realistic. She's not going to have a baby bump the day after conceiving. So for now, it'll still be fine with the campaign because obviously it's not, you can't physically tell. But yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with her pregnancy. Like, I don't think we're going to deal with it in this three-part series. Maybe we'll deal with it from Caleb's perspective. But yeah, I'm not sure what's going to happen with them. If they're going to keep it or, you know, if they're not going to keep it. Uh, Comment down below what you think they should do if you have any ideas for the storyline. Also, let me know what you guys think about Nick and Heather. Do you think it should just be a fling? Or do you think this is a relationship they should pursue even after their vacation in Tartosa? They have been really sweet in like the first part of the episode, but I haven't really played much with them since then. There's been a lot of focus more so on Caleb and Zara as it is more of Zara's story right now. But as I did say, this will be a rotational gameplay, so we can definitely dive into the stories from the other characters' perspectives. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing what happens between them or just keeping it as a little summer fling. Let's ask his opinion on exclusivity. And we'll also ask what hers is as well, because I haven't really checked what these two prefer. Okay, he prefers non-exclusive relationships. Now let's ask what she prefers. Why do all my sims here prefer non-exclusive relationships? I'm open-minded. Okay. Well, I guess they're all just like not looking to really commit to any one person or one sim right now. So that's okay. Oh my god. I knew Nick was suspicious. Just as I was asking what you guys think about Nick and Heather, he wants to do it with the cook. Oh my god. Oh my god. I knew he was like attracted to her. I feel like he kept hanging around her. That's so bizarre. Okay. Maybe she'll say can't say I feel it. No, I don't think she's interested. I mean, he did say he's not interested in a exclusive relationship and he prefers non-exclusive he's already trying to hit on someone else clearly so he's not committed to heather which is fine we knew that they're just at the start of their like romantic relationship anyway i think we're going to end the episode here right now azara is just clearly contemplating everything and just processing what's happening while Heather just sleeps soundly beside her, completely unaware that her best friend is pregnant. We'll probably be telling Heather in maybe the next episode. I think Heather's the first person she wants to tell before she even tells Caleb, just so she can like talk to her and kind of just consult her and see what she should do and what it might mean for her career and things like that. But I'm gonna leave the episode here and we'll pick up in the next one. I definitely wasn't planning to continue Tartosa into the third part, but I feel like everything that happened was just super unexpected. So I think it's a good place to end it off and we'll pick back up in the next and final part of Zara's story part three of course that's not going to be the last time we'll see her we can definitely play from her perspective again but let me know as well in the comments below who else you would want to see perspectives from and I'll see you in the next one bye